This is a different kind of crush at the port. A cargo container fell off a truck and smashed a parked car. Meanwhile, the log jam of ships is so serious, you can now see them all the way in Santa Monica. KCAL 9's Lori Perez has the newest port problems. I mean, I came in and I saw the container completely destroyed on top of my brother's car. And honestly, I was just shocked. I'm glad he wasn't in the vehicle. A shipping container fell off a truck and onto an empty parked car Tuesday. Wilmington neighbors have been worried about accidents as their streets have become clogged with semis dropping off containers at a nearby trucking company. The kids can't play football in the street anymore. Gridlock at the ports of LA and Long Beach is causing cargo to be stored and stalled in all sorts of unusual places. I've never seen them. This is the first time. That's funny. We were walking earlier and I went, is that a cargo ship? Tuesday, at least five container ships were visible from the Santa Monica coastline. Vessels anchored far north of the ports. The cargo clogged there, apparently keeping them farther out than ever before. I'm surprised. And Estella Morales already knows if the ships are here, what they're delivering is not in stores. The shelves are kind of empty. And they don't have enough stuff, like you say. They say, they say they're running out in toilet paper. Stuff stuck in thousands of shipping containers on the ocean or on land, spilling out of trucking companies like UCTI in Wilmington. President Biden's press secretary said Tuesday the port of L.A. reported since moving to 24-7 operations last week, the amount of cargo sitting on the dock for more than 13 days has been cut in half. But UCTI's owner hasn't seen much movement yet. And you know, there's only so much space around here. The Port of LA's executive director said about 200,000 containers remain on ships off the coast. In Santa Monica, I'm Lori Perez, KCAL 9 News.